All right, I, uh, we just finished our schoolwork and we thought maybe we'd share with you guys how to clean up around the ear. So this is the other guy. All right, so stay here. So Grayson has the, actually, will you look? So Grayson has the same haircut as what I did on Davis, like the really disconnected. I'll try to bring this over. So he's got like the length all on the top and then the shaved through the sides. But every once in a while, it gets super scraggly around the ears. So I'm going to show you guys how to clean that up. So this can kind of be for any short haircut. So first, can you go in there and grab my scissors for me, Davis? First, we're going to get rid of all the rest of this hair. Holy moly, kid. So see, as you can see, the same sectioning I did for him as I did for Davis, but his is just longer. Oh, mm, yep, maybe don't do that. These are super sharp, man. You don't want to swing them. Look over and he's like, okay. Okay, ready, Freddy? I'm gonna push you in a little bit closer here. I still gotta get in. So if you can look at the soda stream, perfect. So if you have proper hairdressing scissors, which you can get on Amazon right now for like 20 bucks, and a pro like a real comb, I'll show you how to do it that way. But if you just have like little trimmers at home, these are way easier. Okay, so you're gonna stay still? Perfect. Okay, that's perfect, David or Grayson. So all we're gonna do is have the comb, and you're just gonna lift up that hair. So can you see how it's lifted up onto the comb? Oh crap. this right here that might be easier okay that's a little that way perfect so my hair is lifted onto the comb and I'm just gonna go back and forth the comb is a guide so the comb is not gonna let you just do a bald spot into the hair so see how that takes a whole bunch That's better. Mm, look how beautiful you are all close up. So again, I'm just going back and forth. So again, I'm gonna grab that hair that's bugging him behind his ear. And just go back and forth. The higher you up, the more I'm pulling the comb. Oh my God, we haven't brushed your hair for a while. So you can go right close down here. Like you can have the comb almost resting on his head. Turn this way, babe. Yeah, perfect. And then as you go up higher, pull the comb away. So you're gonna close, 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 and then pull that comb away. So let's try this again, buddy. And I'm slowly moving my comb. Don't stop your comb or you're going to create a really harsh line. And I'm leaving it longer as you go up. Close, close, close. And then I'm gradually taking my comb away from the ear. Or away from the head. So you're still doing a continuous motion here. And a continuous motion going up. You never want to stop this hand from going up or this hand from going side to side, but as you get higher, you just pull it away. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Look this way. Oh, don't move. So I'm constantly moving my comb and I'm constantly moving my clippers. And then you can go just right around the ear here. Follow it back here too. There. And then see how that just made it nice and clean right around the ear. I'm going to show you. There. As opposed to the other side. Let's see the other side of your head. Oh, it's wild and crazy. No, turn around again. Super long. And then this side we just did. 
Okay. I hope that cut. Oh, Jesus, that's bright. I hope that helps some of you. I know it's uh, it's really hard to show. There, we'll do this side just in case you want to see it again. Get all this, no, Davy. Get all this hair out of the way. Now we'll show you if you have scissors. Okay, you stay like that. So same thing with scissors. You're going to continuously move your comb, never stop it, and you're going to continuously do this. Does that, does that sound scary? Right in your ear. So you're gonna pick it up. I'm continuously moving my comb and my scissors. But this way is harder for sure. If you have clippers, just do that. Back and forth. And then I'm gradually moving my comb away from his head so it blends into that length up top. Really with Grayson's haircut, I take my clippers and I just shave this entire piece right down. But I know a lot of you don't want such a disconnected look on maybe even your husband. So that's just a nice way if he's getting really scruffy just to kind of blend those sides up so it still looks a little bit clean. And you can do the same at the back too. Just for, don't, don't forget, continuously move your comb. As soon as you stop, you're creating a harsh line. Continuously move your comb up and continuously move your clippers back and forth or you're gonna cut out a big chunk. Um, I hope this helped, uh, even just even just to clean up like right around in here and kind of the neck and to do it where it's blended up can give such a cleaner look than if you're just taking your clippers and like cutting the length, right? And like whoosh, cut the length at the back. Um, that's just kind of bringing you shorter to longer, tapering it up a little bit. It takes a lot of practice. Like it took me, you can get down baby. Actually, no, stay, you're covered in hair. Um, it took me years to figure out how to taper properly. And I think the one thing to remember is don't stop moving your hands. As soon as you do, you cut that line. So keep your comb moving, keep the trimmers moving. You can use any old trimmers for this, right? If your comb is sitting on the skin, you're not gonna bald spot yourself. Like you're not gonna cut a big bald spot. So keep your comb there as your guide, as kind of your barrier and just gradually move the comb away from the head. Here, that's it. So you're gonna have it here. Mm -hmm. Can you hold this phone for me, baby? Can you hold this? So it sees you. Perfect, yeah, right there. Oh, I should have had you do that the whole time. Head, there. Right against, and a gradual move out. Okay, who knows? Let me know if that helps. I've just uh, had a lot of comments from people with hubbies with just like sideburns galore. Anyways, good luck.